Rosa Shanina. Does that name ring any bells? Well, her story is going to provide the backdrop for this Sniper Elite 4 video. It's recorded in 4K as well, so if you want to see it at the absolute best quality, that option is there for you. Now, when you think of famous snipers from World War II, I'm sure that some names may come to mind straight away. Vasily Zaitsev, I bet you've heard of him. There was a movie called Enemy at the Gates, released in 2001, that focused on his endeavours. Or how about Simo Heyer from Finland, known as the White Death, probably the most badass nickname ever. And the records show that he scored 542 kills confirmed during the war. But Rosa Shanina, that name, who was she and what's her story? Well, I found all of this info online and it's actually a very interesting tale, so let's begin. Rosa was a crack shot Russian sniper during World War II and was credited with 59 confirmed kills and 62 enemies knocked out of action. She volunteered to join the Russian army after finding out that one of her brothers had been killed in the siege of Leningrad during 1941 and also her hometown village of Archangelesk was bombed and almost completely destroyed by the German Luftwaffe. Rosa wanted to fight back for her country, but unfortunately every time she applied to the army, she was refused entry. But that didn't dissuade her. She kept repeatedly sending letters and applying, and in the meantime honed her sniping skills and taught herself long distance target shooting. She was more than capable of shooting a rifle and eventually in 1943 she was allowed to join the Russian Central Female Sniper Academy where she quickly established herself as one of the best shooters there, befriending two other women as close friends, Sasha Yekimova and Kaleria Petrova. Fortunately for Rosa, her skill at the Sniper Academy paid off. She had become famous there for what's known as making doublets, which is hitting two shots on different targets, one after the other in rapid succession. After a while, Rosa was offered to be an instructor at the very same Sniper Academy that she trained at, a safe place where she could teach other women to shoot as she did. But she turned down that safety and demanded to go to the front line herself. She wanted to fight. And with her newly gained respect and command, she was allowed to. And along with nearly 2,500 other female snipers, she was deployed by the Russian army to fight against the Germans. Rosa was ordered to join the 184th Rifle Division, in which an elite unit of female snipers had been brought together. The Russian army believed that female snipers would be very effective during the war, as they were much more flexible than men and believed to be more patient and careful during recon, relocation and execution. The tactic paid off and Rosa managed to kill her first enemy soldier three days after that elite unit had been formed. She kept a diary of her time during the war too and expressed a great sadness upon realising that she had taken a human life for the first time. But she was reassured by other women with her that she was simply finishing off the fascists and a few months later she felt nothing for the enemy as she squeezed the trigger and had no remorse in doing her duty for Russia, seeing the bigger picture and meaning in her deadly actions. Now her actions in the Battle of Kozhigori awarded her with the Order of Glory 3rd Class and she was the first female sniper to ever receive that honour. Over the course of six days there, she managed to kill 13 enemy soldiers whilst pinned down by machine gun fire and artillery. You'd need a steel nerve and a steady hand to achieve such a feat. An extract from an article I found online quoted this from her personal diary that she kept at the time. And I think it shows just what a badass this woman was. During one period of fighting, I crawled through a muddy communications trench each day at dawn to a specially camouflaged pit which overlooked German controlled territory. The the unconditional requirement to outwit the enemy and kill him became an irrevocable law of my hunt. I managed to employ counter sniper tactics against a German cuckoo sniper hidden in a tree. By waiting until dusk when the space between the tree branches would be backlit by the sunlight and the sniper's nest became visible. Rosa was a master in the craft of killing, no doubt, and by May 1944 she had totaled up 17 confirmed kills and began to build notoriety and fame, being plastered on the front page of Soviet newspapers and held in high regard. Soon Operation Bagration commenced and the Russian army decided that female snipers should be withdrawn from the front lines. However, Rosa demanded that she remain there. Her request was refused, but of course, Rosa did what she did before 
and she ignored that request and stayed at the front line anyways and became a key player in driving out the German occupation of Vilnius. Now the Nazis had been in control of that area since 1941 and during the latest Russian offensive Rosa scored more kills and successfully captured three German soldiers. The summer of 1944 was a victorious one for the Russian army as they managed to push the Germans back and luckily Rosa was given a free pass and not court-martialed for her refusal of orders on this occasion. August soon came around and the Russian troops advanced to the East Prussian border. By this point in time Rosa had 42 confirmed kills and her division was the first unit to enter East Prussia and in one day she killed five German soldiers with her rifle from a sniper hideout. For her actions during this particular offensive she was awarded the Medal of Courage, one of the first female snipers to get that. The winter drew closer and during December of 1944 Rosa took an enemy sniper shot to her right shoulder which actually incapacitated her for a few days and she required surgery. Of course she recovered and at the reluctance of her commanding officers returned to the front lines in January of 1945 to join the major East Prussian offensive which had just launched and sparked heavy intense fighting. Not a problem for Rosa though, she killed 26 enemy soldiers there. The fellow soldiers reporting that even the veterans weren't as good a shot as she was. So deadly in fact that she earned the nickname the unseen terror of East Prussia, feared by the enemy and loved by her fellow comrades. However Germany were to fight back and harder than ever before. With the looming threat of the East Prussian offensive they reinforced troops there en masse and Rosa's battalion was almost completely wiped out. She wrote in her diary that she was now prepared to enter melee combat if it came to it as 72 of 78 soldiers from her battalion had been killed. She was one of the last remaining and unfortunately was hit by artillery fire whilst protecting a wounded officer. The injuries that she sustained there were catastrophic and she was recovered from battle with her chest torn open. Attempts were made to save her life but the damage was simply too much. Rosa had made the ultimate sacrifice for her country and died the next day. Her war diary was published in the 1960s and streets were named after her in Russia. The village of Yedma even has a museum dedicated to Rosa and in her hometown of Archangelesk shooting competitions are run to win the Rosa Shanina prize in her memory. Rosa was undoubtedly a brave, talented and humble warrior. Despite her talents she wrote in her diary the following. What I've actually done? No more than I have to as a Soviet man having stood up to defend the motherland. The essence of my happiness is fighting for the happiness of others. It's strange, why is it that in grammar the word happiness can only be singular? That is counter to its meaning, after all, if it turns necessary to die for the common happiness then I embrace too. And that's all I've got to tell today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. If you want to learn more about Sniper Elite 4 there's a link down in the description too. As always guys, thank you for watching, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.